Good morning, everyone. Let us now bow down at the lotus feet of Shamataji and raise the Kundalini take Bhatta. Right hand on the left heart. Shumanaji, please come in my heart. Please establish your lotus feet in my heart. Mother, please take me in your meditation. Mother, please take away the sheen of super. Mother, by your grace, I am a spirit. I am the spirit. I am the spirit. Please enlighten this spirit with the power of your love. Please remove all the filth, all the dirt, all the hatred from my heart. And let only the divine love flow from my heart. Shmataji, I surrender. I surrender my ego, my super ego, my thoughts, everything at your lotus feet.
please give me the state of nirvikalpata, the doubtless awareness. Other you are only one, you are the supreme power. I surrender. I surrender everything at your lotus feet. Let us move our hand two inches in front of our heart and try to check if you can feel the flow of the vibrations that are coming from the heart. Mother, let only the divine love flow through my heart. The hand back on the lap. Both the hands on Mother Earth. Mother Valley, you are Sri Ganesha. Please strengthen my muladha. Please protect my muladha. Attention on left mulada and left hand on the lap. Shri Nirmal Ganesh Sakshat. Om Dhomi Vasakshat. Shri Nirmal Ganesh Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha
Mother, by your grace, I am innocent. I am innocent. I am innocent. Please protect my left monatha, strengthen it, and bless me with the power of Sri Nirmal Ganesh. Mother, please strengthen my mother. Attention on Central Muladhao, Shri Ganesh Gauri Saksha. Om Dwami Vasaksha. Shri Ganesh Gauri Saksham Shri Adishati Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Nam Namah Both the hands has to be on the back. Mother, please make me pure. Give me the power and the blessings of the chastity. Make me in a sense, Mataji. Give me the power of discretion. Attention on right Muladhar, left hand on Mother Earth. Shrikati ke saksha. Om Dwami Vasaksha. Shrikati ke saksha. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha. Mother, please make me worthy of your attention and of your appreciation. Please make me worthy of you. Please destroy all the negativities that is coming, that is hindering my growth. It is coming on the path of my ascent. You are the destroyer of all the negativities and pathas in me. Sarva Rakshas and Trimantra once. 
ಆದಿಶಕ್ತಿ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಶ್ರೀ ನಿರ್ಮಲಾ ದೇವಿ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ Mother, please destroy all the evil in me. Please strengthen my life right to another. the hand back on the lap let us take our attention slowly slowly towards our sastrara let us now hear a speech of shrimata ji on how to achieve the state of nirvikalp the doubtless awareness the only way to be able to keep the sastrara open has to be complete surrender <coughs> what do you have to surrender a drop has to dissolve into the ocean to become the ocean and a drop cannot be greater than the ocean can it be so what is the surrendering surrendering of our conditionings of our ego and the artificial barriers we have built around us it's not what you dress and what you eat and what you have it's what you can give and give up the tax of mundane life are to be cut off we must understand it's a progress of people like slaves tied up to chains chains of desires chains of complacentness chains of lethargy chains of ego which is like a log so 
we have to understand ourselves. Surrender is the opening of Sahasrara. Keeping it completely open so that the nirvikalpa state is established within us. There should be a regular progress of improvement, regular progress of the opening. Have you ever seen any lotus or any flower that blooms, blooms and in between again does not bloom, then bloom, then collapses, then blooms. Have you ever seen such a nonsensical phenomena in the nature? You come up, again you go down, again you come up, you go down. Only the balloon of ego and super-ego does that. And when you are identified with them, you too become very peculiar personalities. The lotus of your Sahasrara is open now. It must open more and more and more and should not suddenly collapse, again open, again collapse. It's a very complicated phenomena you can see in the West and you can be very much surprised sometimes. To me it's sometimes very shocking to see. Suddenly some of, someone will come, oh, I'm very nervous about this thing, I'm very nervous about that. Another person will come and tell me, I want to leave Sahaja Yoga now. Another one come and tells me, oh, it's too much, I cannot go any further with it. So we must realize that there is something very peculiar within us, something absurd within us. That's why it happens. We go forward, backwards, forward, backwards all the time. What is this pendulum that cannot be Sahasrara? Sahasrara is not a pendulum, it is a lotus. So the pendulum is the citta, is the attention. The attention that moves from left to right, right to left, goes on like that all the time. But the area of Sahasrara is the realm of God. When the Brahmarandra opens fully, then the heavens open within yourself. The Kundalini, which has risen up and given you Realization, creates that subtle opening by which the Divine starts pouring all its subtleties inside your brain. But if you are pressing it from both the sides with these balloons, sometimes opening, sometimes closing, sometimes opening, the Divine receives its attention, you must know that. The attention is receded back and if it is done many a times, the Divine doesn't bother. So it is you who has to achieve that state and all of us can achieve that state of nirvikalpa. 
In that there is just progression. After nirvikalpa you cannot come down. If somebody is still going up and down, up and down, he should know he is still not up to the point and he should face up to himself and tell himself or herself that, no, I have to be into nirvikalpa where I do not come down. We've done all the choosing, the training, everything. And you all have to jump into the boat now. There's no more time left for us to dilly-dally. This is the place which should demark it. The end of our journey to left and right. Because my husband is like that, my wife is like that, because my child is like this, you are not going to be excused. Whom are you telling? Your own spirit? Tell your spirit, does it understand? It takes away your vibrations. It takes away your joy. It takes away your position. Nirvichara is very easy to establish. But that also some people have not. What about Nirvikara? You have to take it up very seriously. The ideologies, the talking, the discussions and arguments do not lead you there. No, they do not. It's meditation. What is meditation is actually facing yourself and correcting yourself with the full understanding as to what you are. Everything in Sahaja Yoga cannot be explained. I cannot explain, I cannot, because you don't have those powers to understand. All the nature is so anxious to work it out, but you must learn to cooperate with your spirit. It's not a cooperation that is just by the way, it is to be the spirit, the becoming of the spirit fully. is very important. Nothing should stop that because there are some who drag you down. There are some adamant people and there are some still who are possessed. There are some who are murmuring souls. Just don't pay any attention to them. They'll be all lost. Doesn't matter. Now, at this time, in this place, we have to turn our face to all that was the past and ascend into the new realm of bliss and joy. I assure you that with your dedication it will work out. But just think in your mind, what have we sacrificed so far? No sacrifice is sufficient. 
But have we sacrificed anything? So we have to mold ourselves to be fit into the new pattern, the new rhythms, the new music of Divine Flute. May God bless you all. Let us sit in silent meditation for some time, requesting Mother to take us to that state of nervical. Just absorb the speech and the vibrations that are flowing.
Let us now raise our Kundalini and take Vandana. And thank you everyone for joining today's meditation.